Hello, my name is Kimberly Olson, also known as the Gold Digger Girl. In this video, we're going to go over my brand new social media content calendar. We need to have a plan so that way you can put together your marketing, your social media, your topics, all the goodness that goes into video marketing and beyond. So the focus will be video, but you can use this absolutely for anything that you want to plan when it comes to social media. And you will find this below. So just grab this, make sure you have it at your fingertips as we walk through this together and we're going to go through it right now. So social media content planner, what it is, is a step-by-step -step process to plan out your videos in bulk. Okay. You've heard of batching. This is batching at its best. I'm not a big planner. I can't plan too far ahead because ideas come to me and, and I, I just would feel very restrained. However, sitting down to figure out and make sure I have a plan for the month has been a game changer because it allows me to think strategically. It allows me to really put focused effort into my content because before, to be completely honest, I would just post whatever. I would do whatever video topic I felt like, or I would think, well, what is my audience struggling with right now? And I would just choose a topic sometimes that day. So I can kind of wing it and get away from get away with it. Um, and I'm naturally I offer a lot of value no matter what I do. But for the average person, that's not how it works. And it's, it can cause anxiety as well. So I want to give you the tools to really rock it, to really crush it and be able to serve your audience in a way that you feel confident uh, and effective with. So let's go through this together. So the social media content planner planner is just that it's a planner. What we're going to do is we're going to figure out your monthly theme. Okay. Now what this is going to allow you to do is have a theme for the month. So if you have a theme for the month, what that's going to allow you to do is be able to dive deep into the topic. If you have a theme for an entire month, think about the posts that you can put out there, the video trainings you can put out there. You can go in your stories and add value to it. You can have people using this stuff, creating testimonials. So it's going to allow you to really go deep with this topic serve your audience at, at a more professional level and really help them and make a difference versus a quick, you know, five, 10 minute video on any given topic. Okay. So let's plan it out. So I want you to just use this for this upcoming month. If you're catching this partway through the month, just use it to plan out the rest of the month, or if you're too far into it, plan the next month. So what is your monthly theme going to be? For example, mine right now is video marketing. My whole entire theme on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I repurpose on LinkedIn. Um, I have uh, membership, membership groups. This is the content that they're going to see for this entire month, okay? That's my monthly theme. All the podcasts, all the stuff is gonna be centered around that, okay? So your monthly theme could, theme could be reducing inflammation. It could be superfoods. It could be at home exercise. It could be um, uh, hair tutorials in five minutes or less. I mean, there's literally anything you could think of. You can create a theme around anything. Now you might be like, well, my, my product is nails. Like how can I talk about nails for a whole month? Look at Cosmo, look at uh, Vogue, all of those magazines pick a theme for the month. And even though it's a very focused niche like fashion, they're able to focus on a specific topic. Seasonally, you can look at holidays to inspire you. There's all kinds of stuff you can do, okay? So suggest uh, suggested topics to cover. I want you to brain dump right here, okay? I just want you to just ask yourself, okay, if my monthly theme was do-it-yourself crafts for the kids around the holidays, what are some topics I could do, okay? Well, we could do little Halloween, um, little uh, gifts for gifts, uh, little trinkets for kids in the class, little Halloween gifts. So we could do decorations around the home for Halloween. We could do, um, you know, Thanksgiving, or obviously, depending on when you're watching this, we're getting ready for the big holiday season to start. You could do all kinds of stuff around do-it-yourself crafts at home, okay? What are some different topics and things that you could cover, okay? Brain dump, don't filter, just get it all out on paper. Now, next thing we're gonna do, this is really, really important. You might wanna spend some time on this one and kind of see what feels best to you, but I want you to start somewhere, don't get paralysis analysis, but I want you to ask yourself, where are they at? Where's my audience? Where's my target audience hanging out? Now, let's say your target audience is stay-at-home moms who um, have kids at home and they like to exercise with their kids. So there's something here in Austin called uh, stroller strides. So you bring your kids to the workouts and they incorporate strollers in the workouts. Let's say that your target audience is moms at home who are gonna incorporate their kids in their workouts, which I've done by the way. And kids, they do little babies, 
10, 15, 20 pounds, it works. They're probably not on LinkedIn, okay? So I, I know it's an obvious one, but sometimes I see people just throwing stuff out there and they're not getting results and they're wondering why, they're frustrated and then they give up. And I don't want that for you. I want you to get really clear on who your audience is and where they are hanging out, okay? So with your target audience, if you don't know who that is, I actually have a, a video, I'll link it below, target audience going through all of this, okay? And when you click that, you can work through that, through that to figure out who is it, what are, what am I trying to serve, you know, what are their pain points, all that stuff. Okay. So once you know where they're hanging out, what I want you to do is I want you to check where, what platforms you are going to do video marketing. Video marketing can be recorded. You can stream live as you know, or you can, you can do, well, I should say it this way. You can do recorded live or live stream. A live stream is where it's recorded and you stream it. It looks like it's live, but it's actually recorded, which I do that all the time, by the way. Okay. So I want you to check off which places you want to be. So right now you're like, I'm only on Facebook. I'm trying to learn Instagram, but I'm just on Facebook right now. That's where my audience is. Then I would start with Facebook. Now, could you do something in Instagram too? Absolutely. I'm all about repurposing my content. So maybe you do it that way. That would work as well. You take that one video and you repurpose it over to Instagram. Totally can be done. Okay. I'll link that as well. Cause you know, I'm this resourceful over here. Repurpose content, look below and you can see the, the video on that too. I'll show you all my secrets. So let's say for you, what you want to do is you are really excited about going live um, on Facebook on your personal page. That's where your warm market is hanging out. I want you to check off Facebook and let's say you're also going to go on YouTube, check off YouTube. Now on Facebook, there's four different places you can go live or do videos. So check them off. So you're like, well, every Monday I'm going to do a live on my personal page. Okay, great. Check it off. And I want you to write how many times are you going to go one time a week, two times. Now you're probably like, really more than that. Yes. The more, the better you guys. Now I would rather, these be quality over quantity. However, the more your people can see you, the better. It's just, it's, it's social media is instant. It's forgotten the next day. You've got to stay in front of your audience. Okay. Now, if that's overwhelming to you, just start with once a week, no less than once a week though. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, you decide where you're going to go. You might be in all of these. Again, if you repurpose your content, you could do one video on Facebook and repurpose it on all of the other places. Could you imagine? Pretty effective. Any notes, just jot that down there. Okay, so let's figure out where you're gonna go live. Now we're gonna say, for the video marketing piece, now you know where you're gonna go, let's plan out your first month worth of video topics, okay? This is where we actually sit down and say, okay, what's my specific topic for that week, okay? You can prepare the outlines later when you're prepping for that next, you know, let's say uh, you go live on Monday or, or record on Monday. Sunday night, I would sit down and plan out the outlines, which I actually did last night. So you can prepare them later, so no worries. Okay, video platform number one is Facebook, okay? Date and time, it might be multiples here. So it could be personal page on Facebook. I'm gonna go live Monday night at 8 p.m. Week one, I'm going to talk about uh, do-it-yourself crafts for kiddos. Week two, I'm gonna talk about do-it-yourself farm chic chalkboard ing. I know that's like a real thing. I don't know how to do that. I'm not a Pinterest person. I love Pinterest, but it's not my jam. Week three could be do it yourself holiday gifts. Week four could be do it yourself on a budget. Okay, whatever. So we've got our four different topics planned out. Well, they all go with our theme of do it yourself at home, right? See how this all works together. Instead of just every week, you're like, ah, I don't know what to talk about this week. Go back to your theme. It's always going to have the answers for you. Okay. Any notes you want to write down, you could jot down your outlines right there. If you wanted to, to start getting some ideas of maybe a couple bullets for each. And on this planner, I have a spot for two video platforms. You could copy this sheet. You could, you could plan all this out in Trello if you wanted to, it can all be done. Okay. Maybe I should make a Trello for this. I feel like I need to. <laughs> Structure your social with themes. Now, now that you have the video marketing planned out, I want you to think about how you're going to promote this. You don't want to just go live or, or just upload a video. We want to get as many eyeballs on it and get as much traction on it with it as possible. The very best way to do that is structuring your social with themes. Okay. So 
what I want you to do is come up with a theme for each day. It's going to help you to go onto social media with a purpose and not feel like, I don't know what to post today. Okay. So there are a million things you can do, but I want you just to brainstorm some things you've seen or maybe Google it, look at what other people have, but Monday motivational, um, Tuesday transformation, Tuesday testimonial, um, Workout Wednesday, Wealth Wednesday, um, Woman, what I've seen Woman Crush Wednesday, which is cute. Thursday, th uh, Thirsty Thursday, Throwback Thursday. Um, throwback, yeah, I mean, Thursday, Thursday, I'm trying to think of sounds. Uh, feature Friday, I always do a Friday feature. Um, it could be Friendly Friday, it could be uh, Fitness Friday. Saturday, selfie Saturday, sweaty, uh, sweated out Saturday, shout out Saturday, soulful Sunday, soulful Saturday. The S's are easy on the weekends. Just a whole brain dump of ideas, okay? So if you go back to the do it yourself and you do Monday motivation, you could do a quote on Mondays about something about the home because you are speaking to the mom who's maybe homeschooling or she's raising young kids or she likes the idea of making her own things in her home. She's nesting a little bit, right? Any nesters out there? I was such a nester in my third trimester. I also become a nester in during the holidays when it gets colder, relatively colder here in Austin, Texas. But that time of season is if there's some like a nurturing kind of bringing the family together could do a quote about being a mom, about being the glue of the family. It could be about home is where the heart is. So Monday motivation, she's thinking about she, meaning this person who's posting. When you think about that do-it-yourself mom or wannabe, what's something you could share on, on Monday to motivate her, inspire her, make her go, wow, I like this Kimberly. I want to see what she's all about. And then come watch my videos, okay? Sometimes it won't make sense, right? You might just post a, a picture of yourself and tell a story about that picture. It doesn't have to go with your theme for the month, but it's going to be enough to trigger and help you get some ideas and some consistency with your messaging, okay? So I want you to work through this brainstorm, and then I want you to pick Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come up with your themes. So just kind of brain dump up here and then sing and then chunk it down. It does not have to be the same every week. You might go, sometimes they do hashtag uh, money Monday, uh, Monday motivation, um, miracle morning Monday, mindset Monday, marketing Monday. You can change them up if you want to. And then this is key, adjust as you go. Okay, consistency always trumps perfection, always. I am not perfect. I've messed up more times than I can tell you. I've made a lot of people mad in the process. Um, flat out had entire teams be like, I can't believe she said that. Always in good intention. If you follow me, you know my heart is pure. But some people choose to not see it that way and that's okay. I'm learning to just accept it. Uh, however, me being consistent and just keep on keeping on has allowed me to find my people, find my tribe, find my audience that would do anything for me, hashtag elephant sisters, that just, really are my people. And that's why I show up every week and continue to give you this content to help you feel more confident in your business and light it up. Hashtag get lit, right? Let's light it up. Let your soul on fire. Like I want you to be so excited about your business. You can't even sit still. That's all I want for you. Be trying to be perfect and be friends with everybody. It's not going to work. Consistency always trumps perfection. So as you work through this, you're going to feel like you have to be perfect and you're not gonna do anything. You're just gonna sit there. I would rather you do a video and the stand falls over, the lighting's horrible, your kids are running around naked in the background. I would rather that you go and do it and get out there than not do it. Absolutely. Remember, remember you can do record a video. It's fine, you don't have to go live, okay? I'm also going to put um, the streaming service I use. I have a referral affiliate link. If you wanna click that, um, then, I'll have it below for you as well. And that way you have all the pieces that we talked about today to be able to help you really crush it and make this happen, okay? All right, there you go. That's your social media content planner in a nutshell. Fill that baby out. Let's start getting a, a system in place and, and making sure you have the tools to really crush it. So until next time, go out there and crush your goals and create the life of your dreams. Bye-bye.